Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you a guide on how to open Onion Links. If you're curious about the dark web and how to access it, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be walking you through the steps on how to open Onion Links using the Tor browser. So let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give these VPNs mentioned a try, you can check the updated pricing, discounts, and the latest coupon codes in the description down below. First, let's talk about what Onion Links are and how they are different from regular URLs. So Onion Links are a part of the dark web, which is a section of the internet that is not indexed by traditional search engine like Google. The dark web can only be accessed using special software such as the Tor browser, which uses encryption and relays to ensure anonymity and privacy. The Tor browser is also free and can be downloaded from the official website. Once you've downloaded and installed the browser, you can launch it and start accessing Onion Links. Now to access Onion Links, you'll need to know the link itself. These links are typically a series of random letters and numbers followed by Onion. Once you have the link, simply copy and paste it into the Tor browser's address bar and hit enter. Then the Tor browser will attempt to connect to the site and if successful, you'll be taken to the website just like any other website on the internet. However, it's important to note that Onion Links are often associated with illegal activities and can be dangerous, so it's crucial to take precautions when browsing the dark web. One way to protect your identity and stay safe while browsing the dark web is to use a VPN. It can encrypt your internet connection and mask your IP address, making it more difficult for others to track your online activity. It's also important to avoid sharing any personal information such as your name, address, or credit card details while browsing the dark web. Another way to stay safe is to avoid clicking on any suspicious links. Some onion links may lead to fake websites designed to steal your personal information or install malware on your device, so beware. So it's important to be vigilant and only click on links that you trust. It's also worth noting that while the dark web is often portrayed in the media as a seedy underworld of illegal activities, it's important to remember that not all onion links are associated with illicit behavior. Some onion links lead to legitimate websites that are not associated through traditional search engines. For example, there are forums for discussing policies, human rights, and social issues that are hosted on the dark web. Also, there are onion marketplaces that sell legal goods and services like books, artwork, and even web hosting services. However, it's important to be aware of it, even if the website appears to be legal, it may still pose a risk to your privacy and security. Always be cautious and do your research before accessing any Onion Links. So all in all, opening Onion Links requires the use of the Tor browser, which can be downloaded from the official website. To access the Onion Link, you need to know the link itself and can simply copy and paste it onto the Tor browser's address bar. However, it's crucial to exercise cautions and take the necessary precautions when browsing the dark web, such as using a VPN, avoid sharing personal information, and avoid clicking on suspicious links. While the dark web may be fascinating to explore, it's important to remember that it can pose a significant risk to your privacy and security. So remember to be responsible and stay safe when browsing the dark web. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's crucial to use a reliable VPN to stay safe while opening Onion Links. So here are some VPNs that I highly recommend you to choose for added security. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, 
and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode, and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to respond to as many of those as I can. Finally, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.